the topic that I have been alerted is robotic process automation. First of all, I'd like to tell about the motivation behind robotic process automation. Uh, the main motivation of RPA we can say is uh, for shortage of IT resources, which leads to business um, department to build things on their own. That is, it makes business department independent of IT resources. The second thing is, what is RPA? RP uh, is an acronym for robotic process automation. The, uh, their main work is to imitate humans. That means they copy human works. Mostly the works which are repeated. The term robotic in RPA does not mean that an actual robot is uh, performing the task, but it uh, means a computer program is imitating human action. We can take uh, chatbot as an example of RPA. This chat box are um, we have often seen uh, Natasha in Hike as a chatbot that works on RPA. Now talking about historic evolution, uh, uh, robotic process automation has three predecessors which helps us um, in understanding RPA in much better way. The first one is screen scrapping software. Screen scrapping software is a software that is used to scan large set of um, static information and to pull out info, uh, important uh, terms and in integers. Uh, RPA also uses um, this functionalities for example the digital scanners that we use and the second one is workflow automation and management tool workflow um, automation and management tool are uh, the tools um, which helps in auto filling the data now auto filling in data is like uh, um, if we want to sign in in some software or um, website we need to provide them with some uh, data or information and in the next time when we try to log in we don't have to give any uh, data they are auto filled by with the help of rpm now artificial intelligence is um, uh, is the capability of the computer to perform tasks that actually needs human in intelligence or involvement artificial intelligence is nowadays used a lot in technology field um, we can take an example of Sophia the robot uh, which is completely based on artificial intelligence now talking about the features uh, of robotic process automation the user of robotic process automation does not need to be a great programmer in fact uh, they just need to know about how the um, RPA works and it is user friendly that is um, it is very easy to use and understand uh, um, talking about how RPA works is RPA can perform rule based and uh, repetitive tasks better than humans they transform back office by interacting with uh, user interface of computer system they can work with any existing application and um, RPA implementation then comes the limitation limitation of RPA includes um, its cost that is uh, even um, just to design an RPA it cost millions of dollars and after